Hey there, Rebus Forever here. So, in my last uh, video relating to this keyboard, I discovered that it was very noisy. In the game I played with this keyboard afterwards, the nine parchments, I, I really, really confirmed that the keyboard is in fact quite noisy. Okay. My keyboard is so noisy. It really is. Far too noisy for me, in fact. I think I might have had a two-day migraine because of using it. So I was back to the Membrane Steel Series keyboard, which isn't an ideal. So I thought I'd try uh, a solution. So I decided to get some keycap dampeners off of Amazon. They were only $5.99. Little elastic bands. It looks like surplus loom bands. I did find that it made a difference. I've put one on this key, two on this key, and this key is naked. So two on this key, one on this key, none on that key. I think you can detect an incremental difference. So, just for context, I'm going to type out a tongue twister, um, and then I will record what difference it makes afterwards. Oh, it's uh, not actually plugged in, so well, I'll fix that. Okay, now I've plugged it in, it should work. And we will see um, how that compares once I've finished the job. So I'm going to record this and catch up on some YouTube videos or listen to some music whilst I get this done. And I will join you afterwards and find out whether or not this has done anything. And it better do it because I'm going to be putting two elastic bands on 80 odd keys. For anyone that's never done this before, all you do is you get your key puller until you've got your chosen key off of the keyboard. You see that spindle in the middle, like the circular bit with the cross in it? We just put an elastic band over that. One, if uh, you only want to dampen them a bit. Two, if you want to go a bit more crazy. This keyboard's really noisy, so um, two for me. And then you uh, just jam them back into place. Or at least this is the method I'm, uh, I'm following. If anyone's got any better techniques, feel free to comment in the comments section. That would be the place to do it. So, let's go on. You'll also discover that um, a bunch of keys, like the shift key here, uh, has a number of plungers on the rear. My method in this case was to put one uh, dampener each end and two on the main bulk of the switch. It seems like the two arms on the side are just guides anyway. Again, if anyone has a better solution, let me know in the comments. It's worth having a can of compressed air so that you can clean your keyboard as you go. And it's also worth taking a photograph of your keyboard before you take a whole bunch of keys off like I did here. As I found myself having to go back over what I'd done when I put the keyboard back together wrong. This is literally um, the cheapest set of O-rings I could find on the cheapest mechanical keyboard I could find. So uh, if it all works out, it's looking to be even, even, even with the additional cost of extra O-rings, quite a value proposition. Okay, so that is dampeners, two dampeners, applied to all of the main keys. I'm going to see whether or not it makes a difference to the keyboard uh, before... I decide whether or not I'm going to put it on the numbers and the F keys. If it doesn't make enough difference, I don't want to waste my time doing it because it's quite fiddly. I don't know how to take the enter key off, given the keycap puller doesn't actually fit on the enter key and I didn't want to break anything. Okay, with it switched on, I'm going to type the same thing I typed before and see whether or not it makes a difference. Well, it is still quite noisy, but I find that a lot more manageable. I have noticed that the print on the ASD keys is already beginning to wear off, so maybe I'll get some new keys for it at some point. 
If I do that though, I'll start feeling like this is just a custom keyboard and maybe feel like I need to find a way of putting some lighting on it or something. It'd be pretty cool to mod some backlighting on it. But for now, so I don't make this budget keyboard grossly inflated cost-wise so that it just made more sense to buy a more expensive keyboard, I will just experiment as is. If anyone else has ever thought about adding keycap dampeners to their keyboards, I hope maybe this has helped. It was fiddly, but it wasn't as fiddly as I was expecting. For now, I'm going to get used to uh, the keyboard and see whether or not it makes a difference. If you just came here to learn how to install the sound dampeners, I hope it helped. If you've been following my um, adventures in how to beat the system by buying a comparatively cheap mechanical keyboard and then adding comparatively cheap dampeners to it, I hope it, it's been worth your while too. Groups on the front page, thanks for watching.